This video will show you how to install the micro CMA to your vacuum chamber. Step one is you're going to install your Z translator in whichever position makes the most sense for your particular system. Then we're going to want to install the preamp. The preamp comes with a bracket, mount the bracket on the back of the preamp, and then the preamp can be mounted to the Z translator. You remove one of the screws, one of the side screws on the Z translator replace it with the screw that comes with it. It's a little bit longer so it holds the bracket. I'm tightening the bolt on the back. Okay, so now the preamp is attached to the Z translator. That's nice because it relieves the strain off this cable. Okay, speaking of the cable, you can see that there's a notch here in the beginning of, of the cable, in the front of the cable, and you want to kind of position it where the analyzer is going to go so that you know what the position that key is. When you install the analyzer, you want the key to line up as closely as possible. That way you're not putting any undue strain on the cable. So we can see that the key is lined up in the front. So we will, we will get a gasket ready, a large ID, 2.75 OD flange gasket. It's got 1.52 inch ID for more clearance. And now we will install, carefully install the analyzer. This is an extended analyzer. You can see it's a little bit longer than the standard size. Okay, remember that this key is facing the front, so I'll rotate the analyzer around to where it's close to the front. And then we will try, I'll have to rotate it just a little bit to find where the bolts drop in. Right there, that's pretty close. So now I can see that there's minimal amount of strain on the cable. And we would put the rest of the bolts in, put all the bolts in, pump the chamber down, bake the chamber out. It's very important that the chamber gets baked out when the, after the CMA is installed. 